So here we have our front of our eye pillow and the back of our eye pillow. We're ready to stitch these two together. Okay, this eye pillow is going to go stuffed with flaxseed and lavender or spearmint, whatever other um, herbs you want to put inside of it. So we have to leave a little hole somewhere, okay, to fill it up. So what I'm going to do here is on your silky fabric, there's one matte looking side and another one is a little bit shinier. This is the side that I want to be facing outside. So that means that this is now going to be the pretty side of my fabric. And remember, I said when we sew, we're going to sew pretty sides together. So here's my pretty side of my back and the pretty side of my front going to put them together, pretty sides touching, and now we're going to simply pin around. Now that we've pinned our eye pillow all the way around, we want to mark with, remember, one of the different chalking devices that are out there, Taylor's chalk, this happens to be a chalk pencil. I'm going to mark the opening of where I want to leave an unsewn piece, okay? In that case, I'm going to leave it there. It doesn't have to be too big. Here, this is maybe about close to two inches. That's a little big, but I'll leave it like that. I'll just mark it to remind myself as I'm stitching around not to stitch here, okay? It's okay to keep a mental note, but this is a lot easier. So when I get to this point on the sewing machine, I'll know that I'll have to stop. Now to start stitching, we're going to start at the bottom corner here at the edge of where we marked that we're going to leave a hole here. So we'll start here, stitch all the way around, and when I come back up top here, I'll stop there as well in order to leave this white area that I marked unsewn. Making sure to back tack when we start and when we finish, I'm going to stitch all the way around. When you get to the bottom corner, you have to pivot. In order to do this, I want to stop about a quarter of an inch or so from the, cor from the edge, okay? So don't sew all the way off the edge. I'll stop before I get to the complete edge. Leave the needle down, as you can see, to hold your fabric in place. I'll pivot and turn my fabric, put my presser foot back down, and continue stitching. We'll do that one more time so you can see how I did that. I stitch stop a little before I reach the edge, make sure the needle is in the down position, lift up my presser foot, pivot my fabric, lower the foot, and continue stitching. As you come around the final corner, you're going to stop, remember, at the top of that white mark that you marked with the chalk. And make sure to back tack there to secure it in place. I'll bring my needle up. And that's how you want it to look. Back tack here and back tack there. You're ready to flip it inside out and fill your eye pillow. Whenever you stitch something that has a right angle seam, such as this corner here, you want to clip your corners in order to remove some of the excess bulk for when you flip it out and that way you'll end up with a perfectly pointy corner. So I'll do that again. I cut it at an angle first, then I slip a bit from both sides. Here's another corner. Slip it at an angle to the corner and then trim a little bit off the edges. You want to make sure that you don't clip any of the thread that you've sewn or else you're going to make a hole and you'll have to stitch it again. <laughs> so do that for all four corners and now we'll flip our eye pillow inside out. Now what you're left with looks something like this. You should be looking at the ugly sides of both sides of your eye pillow. We'll take the opening where we left it open here and flip our eye pillow inside out. What I like to do is to stick my thumb into the corner and with my pointer, pinch it right there and flip it. That makes it a lot easier to poke out my corners, okay? We'll do that again. Put my thumb inside, pinch it with my pointer, flip it inside out, and then just finish bringing out the rest of the corner. That's two. Do the rest to the other two corners. After you finish sewing something that needs to be turned inside out, since you're messing with the fabric a lot, it tends to look a little jumbled up like this. So one thing that makes the main difference between a product that looks professional and something that looks homemade is your iron. So again, we're going to be ironing this down. And you'll see how crisp and pretty it'll look after we're done pressing it. I like to lay it like this. This edge here that's open, you want to tuck those edges of those fabrics in because that's how you'll be sewing it closed. 
And now I'll just hit it with my iron. Some steam if you want. And there you can see, that looks a whole lot neater. Now that we've pressed it, we're ready to stuff our eye pillow. So we take the opening that we left unsewn, and that's where we're going to fill it in. What I like to use is a funnel. It's for the easiest way to do it. In a cup here, I have some flaxseed. I poured in some dried lavender and also some spearmint leaf. You can get these at a Whole Foods store or an, at any natural store like that. Um, I'm going to insert the funnel in the hole. Pour my mixture. You can do this little by little to make sure that it all comes down depending on how big the herbs are that you're using in there. Sometimes you have to just push it down. I take a pen. Just make sure it comes down the hole of the funnel. Okay. And what you want to remember to do is not to fill it too much. Okay. You want it to be something like this. You see that it easily folds. If you fill it too much, it's just going to be like a big block of rice basically on your face. So you want it to have some flexibility to it. Once you're done filling your eye pillow, you want to move all the, the mixture that you poured inside to one side because now it's time to hand stitch this. You want to tuck any threads in here inside and now you're ready to just use a whip stitch and sew it shut. So before you start whip stitching it together, make sure that these raw edges are folded under and inside so you have that clean straight edge just like that after you sew it. For the whip stitch, I like to start a little bit before the actual opening starts to make sure that I keep it completely closed and we don't run the risk of having any of the filling fall out. You just put it like that close to the edge and just keep going across, looping it over. And this is one of the more simpler stitches for beginners, so this is a good one to start with for this project. You will see the stitching on the outside, but it's no big deal. As long as you keep it close to the edge, like that. It just holds the top, well the front and the back of it together and really tightly closed. So just keep doing that all the way till you get to the end. And on the end I would recommend that you go a little bit beyond this part as well to ensure that none of the filling comes out. Then just tie your thread off with a knot and you're done. There's your eye pillow.